Alright guys, I'm back, and I have to get some blood Thank off you. Doug's face. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. Alright, let's go to Kenny then. Oh, other way. <laughs> Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. This isn't about Doug. The hell it's not. You think we're pals and you know me? You're some elitist prick with a fancy education who could pick me apart? It's not like that. The fuck it isn't. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You need to just get over it. Fuck, man. There's no room anymore for feeling bad about things. Bad shit's gonna happen for the for the rest of our lives. It's just the way it is. So stop the goddamn train. Just like the RV. Again, it's... I think it's time. The boy's been bit. In case you haven't figured that out. What do you need? I... I... Gotcha. It's time to... Oh, this is not possible. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... What if he doesn't? Kenny. I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Can just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean... Jesus, this is our son. I know, but we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. God, you fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. I'll do it. No, it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. Please right, cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course.
me <clears throat> that stuff. sure he's okay. But how? He's bitten. By making sure he doesn't come back. Oh. Look, Clem. Things are... What the... No! Ben, the take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. If he had to kill his son, he probably killed himself too. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Fuck. Hutch is dead, Doug's dead, Billy's gone, Carly's gone. How you doing? I don't care what reasons you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Cause she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? 
You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. Like a gun. Are you kidding me? What? She's too young to handle one? There ain't too young. Not anymore. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. Find some scissors in my pack, and take care of that hair before Walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and well, they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. I shot the kid, you know? I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there. About whether or not you folks want company. Be safe up here. You betcha. Alright, thank you for reviewing the sports. <clears throat> I'll be back with the next part. Please like and subscribe and comment.